Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we're creating a watercolor snake plant entirely in Procreate. So what you see on screen is exactly what we're going to be creating together. The color palette is free as always. There's a link right in the video description so you can download and install it. The brushes we're using for this project is my paid set of watercolor illustration brushes. You can use any brushes that you would like for this, but if you'd like to follow along exactly, those are the brushes that I'll be using. So I'm going to create a brand new document that is 1500 pixels by 1500 pixels at 300 dpi and then we can get started. Okay I've got my canvas all ready to go and we're actually going to go and pull a reference image from Pinterest to help us along the way. So I'm going to jump into Pinterest. I have a board I'll leave a link to in the video description which is called flower reference photos and I pulled a bunch of flowers and plants in here that I use for a lot of the tutorials that I create. So if you want to navigate through or choose any other style of plant, you can definitely do that following a similar process. I've pulled two snake plants right here that you could use. I'm going to grab this first one. So I'm just going to tap on the image and then hit the three dots up here and you can choose download image and that will download it onto your camera roll. And then we can bring it into Procreate after that. Okay, I'm back in Procreate. In order to add that image in, all you have to do is hit the wrench, come over to add, and then choose insert a photo and go grab it from your camera roll. Okay, I've got mine in here. I'm going to reduce the size of it just so I can use it as a reference. We're drawing this from scratch, but we're using this so we can relate it to the real thing so we can still have an outcome that looks pretty realistic, even though it's very obviously hand-drawn. Okay. So I'm going to create a brand new layer and we're going to start by creating a sketch template. And the sketch template will help us draw everything and paint everything in afterwards. It just makes the entire process a lot quicker and a lot easier. So I'm going to grab black. So double tap where your black is to grab true black. In this watercolor illustration brush set, I have a sketching pencil. So I'm just going to grab that now. The size of my pencil is 3%. And I'm going to first draw, let me turn I have a tendency to draw sideways, so I like turning on, if I go to canvas, turning on my drawing guide, and that just gives me some lines so I can make sure everything stays straight as I draw. So this is totally optional, but this helps me keep everything straight. So I'm going to start by drawing my planter, and my planter is going to be, let's establish a width for it and a height. This is the center right here. So it's going to be like a U shape. If you ever want to know what the center point of one of the objects you draw is, like on this one, because I've got these grids, this grid line that is kind of tight together, it's a little hard to tell where the center point is. Um, all you have to do is select the item. So if I just select it, it'll give me a center node. And now I know that this is the center of my item right here. So I can go back to drawing and I know that this is where my center foot needs to go. Okay, so my planter is all set and now I can start drawing in my snake plant. I'm going to create a brand new sketch layer right above my planter sketch. So I'm going to label this one planter sketch. And then this one's going to be called snake sketch. Because I'm happy with my planter, I don't want to mess it up by drawing my snake. And if I'm not happy with my snake, then I end up affecting my planter. So I've got my snake sketch layer selected and now I'm going to try and copy this as closely as I can. Okay, I'm going to move these so they're a little more centered in my planter. And that looks good. Okay, so now I can start drawing everything. So I'm going to move, I'm going to reposition this. It's a little more centered on my canvas. I can turn off my grid layer now because I have everything sketched in the way that I want it. And now I can start painting right on top of it. So I'm going to start by painting my planter first. So I'm going to create a brand new layer up on top. My planter is going to be this gray color. And I'm going to grab my medium paint round brush for this and just paint right over the planter. Okay, I'm going to add some planter details to so create a brand new layer. I'm going to grab my brown and just add some stripes to it. Okay, paint in my feet, so create a brand new layer. Okay, let's turn off the sketch layer to preview it. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to blend the little shadows that I put on the feet into the feet themselves a little better than they look right now. So I'm just going to grab my smudge tool and grab my spot bleed brush and reduce the size and just kind of stipple in that area and that will blend it. 
Okay, moving on. Now we can add a shadow to the very bottom. So I'm going to come to my snake sketch layer, create a brand new layer right above it. I'm going to grab my gray color, grab my medium paint round. And now I can smudge this one too. Only this time with my smudge brush, I'm going to grab my soft wash and smudge with my soft wash. And then I can reduce the size of it. Okay, now on to our snake plant. So I'm going to create a brand new layer up at the very top. I'm going to grab my lightest green color right here, and I'm only going to paint in the leaves that are towards the front because the back ones I'm going to make just a little bit darker to show that they're behind my front ones. So I'm going to paint in, I'm using my medium paint round brush right here for this one and selecting the frontmost leaves and painting those ones. Okay, so for the back ones, I'm going to create a brand new layer, drag it underneath my previous light colored layer and just grab the second green color and paint those ones in. Okay, I've got the beginnings of my snake plant. So the next thing we're going to do is create a brand new layer above everything. And we're going to use this exact same green color, the second one right here. And we're just going to paint the middles. So we're going to start defining where the edges of the leaves are and then where the center part is because the center is quite a bit different than the outside edges that are that light green color. Okay, I'm going to duplicate this layer. So drag it to the left and choose duplicate and that will darken it all up. I'm going to merge these two layers together. So just pinch them together. And now I'm going to soften up the edges of them using my smudge tool. So I'm going to grab my spot bleed brush and just push along the edges. This will also make it look much more like watercolor too. Okay, let's preview this without our snake sketch just to see how it's looking. And it looks like I need to add a little bit more color down here. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, now we're going to start adding in some of the detail of our leaves. So I'm going to create a brand new layer. I'm going to grab my dark green color and I'm just going to start putting in some lines, but I'm going to use my spot bleed brush for this one because it's a little more textured when you draw a line. So I'm just going to draw some lines sporadically in here and leave some gaps here and there because we're going to add in one more color of these lines. Okay, I'm going to grab my darker green color now and just fill in those gaps. Okay, we're going to duplicate this layer. So slide it to the left, choose duplicate. We're going to temporarily turn off the top version of it. On the second version, we're going to grab our smudge tool, make sure your spot bleed is selected, and we're just going to smudge these. So stipple around smudging them. Okay, once your smudging is done, we're going to return to the top layer, turn it on, and reduce the opacity down to like 50%. Now we're just going to add in a few shadows to add just a little bit more to that sense of depth. I'm going to start by creating some shadows at the very bottom, so create a brand new layer. I'm going to keep my darkest green selected, but this time grab your dense wash brush. I'm going to increase my size to about 6% and just paint in at the very base of your plant and you can erase away if you want to bring it down a little bit. And I'm going to also smudge it up just so it's a little darker at the base. Okay, and then I just want to add in a few more shadows within the leaves themselves. So I'm going to create a brand new layer up at the top. I'm going to grab my third green color. I'm going to grab my medium paint round and just along some of these edges, I'm going to add a sense of depth using just some lines of color. So I'm going to bring this one up so it's casting a shadow on the leaf behind it. Okay, and then I'm just going to smudge these ones out as well. 
Okay, I can turn off my reference photo now, all the way at the bottom, group all of my layers together, and I'm just going to center this. Okay, so that is how to create a watercolor snake plant entirely in Procreate. Once again, the free color palette is right in the video description, as well as a link to that set of watercolor illustration brushes. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can be notified of new tutorials just like this one in the future. For more Procreate tutorials and freebies, head on over to my site, every-tuesday.com. You can also find me over on Instagram. My handle is every Tuesday. If you try this out and post it there, I would love it if you tag me. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week.